Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a transparent background with your images using Paint 3D. Um, now, so like I said, this is Paint 3D, which is the newer version of Paint, not the uh, regular version of Paint that's been around forever. So if you have Windows 10, you're going to have Paint 3D um, comes with it. So anyways, so I have these two images here. One has a blue background, one has a white background. I'm going to show you why I have these two here. But to begin with, we're going to start with the blue one. I'm just going to right click on it and then edit with Paint 3D. Okay, so you can see we want to get rid of this blue background. So the first thing you want to do is you want to crop out any extra stuff. So I don't want this vector stock thing here. So click on the crop tool and just kind of move this here. And then click on done. Okay, so that's gone. So next I want to use the magic select tool. And this will just, you just want to have a box around the uh, thing you want to, I guess, select. And if you have um, complex images, it's going to be hard to do in Paint 3D, and you might have to use something a little more advanced like Photoshop to do this. So just keep that in mind. This is just for basic stuff, like this is just a solid image here with nothing off to the side. So we're going to just select that, click on Next. And you can see it draws this green kind of fluorescent box around it. And let's say if it, if it cropped out something, like let's say this mirror didn't get selected, you could click on Add and then just draw on the part to have it included in your selection here. Or if something, if you don't want this mirror, let's say you could click on remove and remove it from your selection so it's you know actually gone. So once everything looks good, we're gonna click on done. Okay, so now that's done, you can see it's a separate object. And one thing I've noticed it does too, sometimes it kind of either see the shrink in the background or it's blowing up the image. So what you could do is just kind of get this, you know, down there if you want to make it smaller or if you don't care, you could just leave it like this because it's actually irrelevant, but I'm just wanted to point that out. So next we want to remove the background. So we just kind of get that out of the way of the background, go to the select tool and just select this whole background. So you can see it's selected. Now we just click on delete and you can see it makes it white so it's it's still deleted the background but it just shows it as white so now we're gonna just kind of get this to fit in there you can also make it the background bigger if you know or make the canvas bigger if you like so once you have it in place there you want to click on canvas and then you want to turn on the transparent canvas and now you can see the background matches this gray so that shows you it's transparent so that's looking good. So now we want to save it as a transparent image. And to do that, we need to save it as a PNG. We can't save it as a JPEG because that doesn't support transparency. So we click on Menu, Save As. We want Image. And we want to pick PNG. And click on Save. And we'll save it as the same thing here. Let's call it uh, transparent car click on save and that's done so now we go back to our folder here and you can see, and then here is our transparent car and you know in your in your windows explorer here it's still going to kind of look like maybe it has a white background because it's got to show the icon of the image so just to prove to you that it's transparent let's open it with photoshop if i could find it See, now you can see this gray and white checkerboard is the kind of universal thing for a transparent background. So we could see that that worked compared to the original, which obviously has the background. All right, so now the reason I had this white one here is because, you know, sometimes you're going to have a white background, so it's not going to be as obvious. So we're going to do this one more time with something with a white background. So let's open it with Paint 3D. Okay, first we're going to crop out this vector stock thing here. Okay, and now we're going to use the magic select. And make sure everything looks good there. Okay. And this time you could see it didn't get that mirror, so let's add that. This is a little tricky. I don't, I'm not a fan of this, but let me just kind of 
you know, draw it in and it kind of fills it in for you. Okay, so that looks good. So let's click on done. All right, so now we have this again. We could just move this out of the way and left a little weird thing there. I don't know where that came from, but either way, we're going to delete it. So let's select that. Delete. Now you can see it's a white background. Let's move our try and move our car back in here. Okay, then we go to the canvas tool because we want to make our canvas, which is the background canvas, transparent. That's good. Now let's save it as a PNG. File, save as. PNG. Click on save. Save this as transparent car two. Save. And now we have, it's kind of weird. I didn't want to update the image there, but let's open it in Photoshop and see what happens here. Yep, so we got the same thing. Here's the first one. There's the second one. Oh, so you can see right here, it didn't select the mirror. So that's what happens if, you know, you, you do the magic, uh, what's it? the magic select tool and it doesn't grab everything. You can see it's kind of gray here, so it missed that. So I should have use the uh, little add part here to add that in so that's uh, so i'm kind of glad that did that because i could show you what could happen so just keep that in mind when you do the magic select make sure it has everything selected otherwise you got to use that add tool and kind of draw in the parts you want to add or remove to make sure everything's uh, covered there all right so hopefully that makes sense so just you know maybe you need to watch this a couple times just to get the hang of it and then go in and try it for yourself and make sure you save as a png and you should be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.